Welcome back everybody, Silas here today. I am at the yard, it is time to crush some cars. You've already seen me crush a few. Of course, my phone's been quiet all this time and as soon as I start making an intro, it dings and goes off. At least it wasn't a phone call. But anyway, in this video, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush a bunch of cars. I've got that big uh, grain feeder box thingamajigger you saw over there, you probably saw it already in the intro. I'm gonna crush that. I've got an old motorcycle I'm gonna crush. I've got, uh, what else? I've got a, a sign I'm gonna crush. I'm just gonna try to find some interesting things to crush. I know a lot of you really like the crushing videos. I know I don't post them all the time. I don't want this to ever become a strictly crushing channel, but I think we're about due for a crushing video. So here we are. What I'm doing now is I had a customer actually wants the radio out of this thing and I didn't realize it had a star bit the torch bit holding the uh, the cover in. So we're gonna pull this cover out the violent way. I may have to get an actual pry bar because I don't have my torch bits with me and I don't wanna have to do this another day. So if I can't get it with this, I'm just gonna have to crush it. There we go, a little bit of violence. Got all that out of the way. Now I just need a, looks like a, what is it, an eight millimeter or so? Seven millimeter, something like that. Which I don't think I have that either, but I think I might have a crescent wrench. Needle nose vice grips to the rescue. Everything came right out. I think this should come out now pretty easily. Just gotta figure it all out. Something's sticking. There it goes. There we go. I'm sure it's still got all the cords and everything on the back side of it. There we go. The antenna came unplugged and... Okay, yeah. I just gotta reach back there and get those with this hand. Bingo. There we go came right out it's still in pretty good condition really it's got a few scratches on the face of it and who knows if it works or not but this car was pretty clean until i tore it up so i bet it does work well, looky there there's a quarter i made money today Time has finally come. We're gonna take this old Honda. I don't even know what this is. Is this a 350 or 250? I don't even know. Doesn't really matter, I guess, at this point in time. I wanna take it, I wanna stick it in there, and we're gonna see what happens when you crush a motorcycle. I thought about keeping this for art. Sometimes people buy the forks off of these, but I've got five or six old motorcycles at the other yard that nobody's bought anything off of in a long time, so I think this is gonna be a good one to make a crushing video. Then after we do that, I've got a handful of cars over there to crush. And then after we get those crushed, I'm gonna crush that box right there.
I'm not gonna lie, that was actually kind of lame. All I did was flop over on its side and crush flat. Uh, motorcycles are pretty tough. They don't crush that good. Honestly, I've crushed them before and this is about what they do all the time. Every now and then if there's no engine in them, the frame will kind of splatter and fall apart, but usually they just flop over, the wheels kind of taco, and then that's that. Okay, next up, we're gonna crush this old feed grinder. This thing is pretty stout, pretty heavy. I forget what it weighs, but I, didn't want, I wanna say it was 5,000 pounds. I mean, it's, it's a very heavy piece. Great big old grinders in there, augers, whatever you wanna call them. This end down here is very heavy. I don't know what's in here. I guess we can find out real quick. Oh, it's got all sorts of gears in here. No wonder it's so heavy. I don't know how well this thing is going to crush. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Close it back up. Yeah, I have no clue how this is going to go. I'm sure this end of the machine will crush at least to some extent. That end over here will probably crush a little bit. I don't know how much though. Like I say, it's pretty stout, but those gears, I think those gears with a little bit of effort will go ahead and uh, fold up. So I think it's going to crush decent. I don't think it's going to crush flat. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. I'm gonna crush it in there by itself at first. And then after it's been crushed, I'll throw this car in there, crush it, and put that back on top of it. That way it'll kind of push it down into the car. So whatever it doesn't crush, it'll make up for it by smashing into this. Well, that thing did not crush like I thought it would. I thought it would get it better than that. I knew it wasn't gonna crush all the way, but I thought it would crush more than that. But when I flipped it on its side, it actually crushed more on its side than it did upright. And that was kind of kind of uh, baffling to me. I did not expect that at all. Then I took it and crushed it on top of that car and it smashed down into the car pretty good. It's still a really tall bundle. So that's why I just crushed that one van all by itself. That way the load's not too tall inside the semi-trailer. And then also that was kind of interesting crushing two Cutlass Sierras. You never see those anymore and I crushed two of them together. So that's the first time I've done that in 20 years. But next up on the agenda is I think we're gonna crush this sign here. Now I have crushed one of these before. They kind of make a mess. 
and then you have to put on on top of a car after you crush them uh, this sign i don't know if it's any good or not but i am required by the company that i get these from to destroy them a lot of times they'll take these signs down and a company will be going out of business or whatever and so the sign's still perfectly good but they just don't want it back out uh, being used or anything like that and plus they make a lot of money off of selling these signs new so they don't want somebody out there undercutting them selling used signs and i'm sure there's more reasons to it as well but basically it has to be destroyed so we're going to crush it next however once i crush it i'm going to need a vehicle that's already flat to put it on top of so i can put it back in there and crush it again into the vehicle and so that's where this old volvo comes in this poor car was in the pile over there I pulled the instrument cluster out of it, but uh, that's all I'm going to save off of it. It's probably got some other parts on it, but I just don't feel like messing with it. I thought about cutting the nose off of it, but the grill is falling out and it's missing one of the turn signals. And then this turn signal is all falling apart too. So I decided, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and crush this car. So when I get back from lunch, I'm going to stick that in there, flatten it. Then I'll flatten the sign and then put the sign on top of the car and we'll see what it looks like. That is wild. That back window did not break. It popped out of the car and it smashed completely flat, but it didn't break, it didn't shatter nothing. <laughs> I can't believe that. There it went.
And with that, there are three loads on the ground. I had exactly the right amount of cars. Well, I take that back. I did have to go get one more out of the pile to be able to finish the load. That was pretty cool that it worked out like that. So like I said, I have three loads on the ground. They are coming on Friday to pick those up. You guys know my plan was, is I was gonna keep working on that pile over there. I got that station wagon out. I think that is sold to a guy that does derby cars. Uh, he's supposed to be here Monday or Tuesday to get that, but I was planning on just keeping on crushing through that pile back there. However, uh, there's been a development and so things have changed. Go figure, that uh, that doesn't surprise anybody. If you follow this channel for any length of time, you know that things change out here all the time. It never stays the same. I can make all the plans in the world and I guarantee you they ain't gonna work out. But basically, instead of working on that pile of cars, I need to come over here and work on this pile of cars. I've got to eliminate all of these right here in this area. Some of these are pretty well ready to crush already. Actually, a bunch of them are. Some of them might still have uh, converters on the manifolds. That'll be uh, kind of a pain to get those, but I think we can get it. I'll probably go ahead and junk this one out too. Maybe a few of these others. This thing here is kind of a shame. The only reason this thing here was junked is uh, the uh, ball joint broke down there and it was abandoned on the side of the road and it didn't get picked up in time and so it got towed in and the people never paid the tow bill and so it got auctioned off. It's been here for three or four years and you can see what I've sold. I've sold just a handful of pieces so might as well go ahead and get rid of it. I'll probably go ahead and crush this car here on the bottom. The car on top has a bunch of antiques in it so I need to get those out and then I can crush it. And then I'll probably go ahead and hang on to these two here for now. Then going back this direction is mostly antique cars. I think that's what's kind of wild to me is I think I've been doing this now for YouTube for almost three years and uh, I've never showed you guys these cars back here. Sometime I'll have to do that. And then off this direction is a bunch more junkers. I'll worry about those another day. Those aren't a priority. Right now I basically just need to eliminate this whole pile. Now this week I am pretty much done. I'll be back on Friday loading trucks. I might work on this pile a little bit that day. But the next time I'm completely focused on processing and crushing cars, this is what we'll be doing. I can't tell you what the development is. I can't tell you the reason why I'm doing this. Now, that's gonna be a future video. I don't wanna say anything in case it doesn't work out. So we'll just keep that under wraps for now. I will see you guys back here on Friday. And we are back out here at the junkyard. My truck's not here yet, <laughs> but it is flat, pouring down rain. It started raining probably, uh, I don't know. Uh, when I went to bed about one o'clock last night, it was pouring down rain then. I think it had been raining for a couple hours at that point, but it has not stopped. It has been pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring now for probably going on probably at least 10 hours and it's supposed to rain all day long today as you can see it is getting pretty muddy out here everything is starting to flood in here too this is pretty rocky though this road's pretty well rocked and rock solid i'm not too worried about sinking or getting stuck or anything like that even out there where there's a lot of water i won't sink it's it's been rocked and rocked and rocked some more this rain is absolutely cold wet and miserable however we desperately need it And with that, I am done. <laughs> it's raining again now. It quit raining for a little bit, but now it's raining again. I hope it doesn't rain too much. I have to pick a truck up out west on a dirt road and tomorrow, and uh, if it gets too muddy, I won't be able to do that. And tomorrow is my only day available to do that. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I am done crushing at this yard for a little bit. I may come out here next week and do a little bit of moving stuff around, but it's actually probably gonna be a few weeks before I'm out here crushing again. I did some counting. 
and I need to be able to move all of these vehicles all the way along here but anyway there's about 25 to 30 crusher cars and then there's a handful of truck beds of batteries and things like that and then there's about 10 or 15 antique vehicles that I need to move here's a few of the antique vehicles back in here that one there is just kind of a neat car I thought I'd stash it out in the trees or something some more junkers here's a couple antique ones here then I got this old Cummins truck I don't think it'll take me that long to do all these and good morning I am back out here now for you guys it's only been a few seconds since the last clip was recorded but for me it's actually been about two weeks since I was out here we just got back from a trip to California we went to Sacramento San Francisco we went to Las Vegas uh, we went to the Grand Canyon we just did a whole bunch of traveling around down in the, the west and the southwest I've had time to think about things decide on how I want to do things and I think I've made some decisions I want to make some stuff go away and I've been advertising stuff like crazy and it's not really selling. And so my thinking is, is that people just don't want to buy it or else they want to buy it super cheap. And so if it's not something really nice, I think I'm just going to go ahead and either cut the nose off and crush it. Or if the nose isn't any good, I'm just going to go ahead and crush it. I've got so much that I need to get done and so many things going on right now that I just don't have time to dedicate to pulling little trinket parts. And I know there's money in it, but for me personally, on a personal level, that's just not something I want to do in my life on a, on a full-time basis. Now, some vehicles I will say, just because I know parts sell really easy, and so it's easy money, but some of the harder stuff that's, that's a little bit harder to sell or a little bit slower to sell, that sort of stuff, I think is just going to go on down the road. One thing that does sell really easy, though, is dash parts, like the instrument cluster, the uh, temperature controls, that sort of stuff. So, and that's really easy to pull parts. So I'll probably pull all that stuff off and then go ahead and crush the rest of the truck. And then stuff like this car here, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and crush this car. There's just not really much of anything good left on it. It laid out in the river forever. It's pretty well rotted to nothing. It does have a few good dash parts in it though. So I may pull the chrome off the dash, but beyond that, maybe the window garnishes for art value. But beyond that, I don't think I want to save anything on this card here. Possibly, possibly, I will go ahead and save this door off of it. It has a couple bullet holes in it, but it sat on the driver's side. So this door here was upright and never got rusted out. Unfortunately, I just realized that I took all my tools out of the truck and put them inside where they were locked up while we were gone. And I forgot to grab my impact and my sawzall so <laughs> I can't pull any of these wheels off and a couple of these I have to cut the converters off I can't pull them off the forks so I'll have to wait on all that till another day but we can still unstack some out of the pile and go ahead and pull most of the converters off pull the batteries out that sort of stuff get them mostly ready to go plus I'm trying to grab as many of these out as I can right now while the ground's mostly frozen the last time I was in here working this ground was super super muddy because it wasn't frozen yet, but it's about 28 degrees right now, so it's pretty frozen. Not hard, hard frozen, but good enough to where I can get in here without slipping and sliding all over the place. I do miss that 60 degree and sunny California weather. That was sure nice.
Well, I've got one load on the ground back behind me now. I've got probably half a load up by the crusher, ready to crush. And now I've got cars scattered all around. You can see here, I got them scattered all around the place, waiting to pull the aluminum wheels off of them. So I'm gonna do that now, take these in there. And I think I'm gonna fire the crusher up one more time. This is, well, not all. This is most of the cars that I'm gonna crush that were right in the way in front of the crusher. I was shocked how many of these cars still had converters, well, not that many, but like four or five of them still had converters on them. You can see I must have been in a hurry whenever I stacked those cars, because I always try to pull those off as I stack them. But back in the day, we used to buy stuff by weight all the time, like everything, little stuff, cars, you name it. Now I just try to mainly buy cars by weight or big stuff, but back in the day, I bought everything, and I'd have dumpster loads of stuff coming in, they'd be dumping it on the ground, and you guys know I do most everything by myself, so I would be out here picking that stuff up out of the mud on my hands and knees and I'd get so far behind on everything and so every now and then if we bought a bunch of cars at once or something like that at an auction or something like that I couldn't stay uh, process I couldn't uh, stay ahead of the curve I guess is the way of saying it so I'd get far behind and I'd at least try to pull the batteries out and throw them in the pile but sometimes I even miss the batteries I found I think two cars in the pile that still had batteries in them it's only about 30 degrees out here but I'm sweating I may have to What's that? Check this out, guys. I was walking past this car and I just kind of glanced over. I haven't looked in here yet. I ripped open this trunk to see what was in here, but there's a wallet laying right there. Anything in it? Doesn't look like it. Piece of paper, nothing good. The other side's still zipped up. But anyway, it's starting to get kind of warm out here for all these layers I'm wearing. And you, oh, guys, check it out, we got money. Let me set the camera down real quick. We've got, oh, uh, nothing great. That's not that moldy, a little bit moldy. You can kind of see, but we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's two fives here, guys. There's $14 here. We got 14 bucks. <laughs> Just laying here. Well, I'm kind of speechless. I didn't plan on doing a treasure hunt video out of this video, but <laughs> here we are. I usually dig through the cars and I stuck them in the pile, so that kind of baffles me as to why that was there. This must be, like I say, this is one that had a converter on it, so I must have just never looked in this car or on this car. Let's see if there's anything else, anything good at all in here. Some trash, what's that? Nothing good. Trash, trash, more trash. Here's a coat. Is this any good? It's a little bit dirty, but... What size is it? It's an Eddie Bauer. Oh, it's an extra large. It's way too big for me. If it wasn't dirty, I'd go ahead and save it and take it to Goodwill or Salvation Army or something like that. But being dirty like that, they would just throw it in the trash, I'm sure, anyway. Kind of smells like mice and mildew in here. This car's been sitting for a few years, so I doubt anything's really in, anything worth saving in here. I'm mainly just looking to see if there's any more money. Now, I don't see anything else good in here. I'll dig through it a little bit more. I'll look inside the car. Oh, there's a purse. Well, the back seat's ripped up, and so that means the that's why the battery's not in it, is these cars have the battery under the back seat. So I'm guessing that I already looked through the inside of this car when I pulled the battery, when I stacked it in the pile. I just never looked in the trunk. But hey, I'll take it. $14, anything else in there? Make sure one more time. No, there's nothing else in there. A piece of paper with a bunch of just random stuff on it. But nothing good. I guess let's check this car while we're here. Now this one's completely empty, not even a spare tire. I haven't opened the trunks on those two yet, so I guess when I get to those, I'll rip those open and see if there's anything good in those. But until then, I'm gonna go ahead and get these wheels off of these, take them in there by the crusher. And it is lunchtime. Now I have $14 in my pocket that I didn't plan on having, so that means I can eat just about whatever I wanna eat, because I can't think of what I would even spend $14 on. So I'm gonna make my decision, go get something. I don't know, I guess we'll find out here in a second. All right, guys, we are done for the day. I went and got lunch and my camera died 
and I couldn't find my batteries. I thought I left them at home, and then I finally just now remembered I put the batteries in my inside coat pocket, and my coat was in the truck, and so I went over there, and there they were. So I got a battery again. We're back in business. For lunch, I had barbecue. I had some uh, smoked turkey, some refried beans, and a trip to the salad bar. It was absolutely delicious, and it was only 10 bucks. so I still have $4 left over for something. I don't know what I'm going to buy yet. Don't want to spend all of it in one place, you know? Tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the crusher again. I think I have almost enough to crush two more loads of cars. Pretty close anyway. And with that, we have three loads on the ground. You guys saw me crush everything except for those two right there when I got done. I, I didn't quite have enough for that third load, so I grabbed those and processed them real quick. But they're supposed to come next week if we don't get too much snow and ice and rain and who knows what else. It's supposed to snow all weekend or rain or ice or something. The weatherman doesn't really know what's going on. We haven't had this much moisture in years. I mean, this is this is nice. I'm, I'm, it's miserable to work in. I mean, absolutely miserable. I hate wearing these water boots. They're kind of uncomfortable, but I, I'll take the moisture. It's been so bone dry. Hopefully, if we get another about 20 or 30 inches over the next couple months, maybe the reservoirs will get back up to where they need to be. And In all honesty, it's going to take year after year of this just to get things back to where they were. I have no clue what all that has to do with crushing cars. But anyway, here we are. You may notice this one here still has aluminum wheels on it. That is because it has those funky spline lug nuts on it. I couldn't find my remover and aluminum wheels aren't worth that much money. So honestly, I didn't really care. Some people say you can bust them off. If you can get them down to one or two lug nuts, you can usually bust them off. But when they have all five lug nuts on them still, it's really hard on equipment to try to bust those off. And it's not worth breaking an expensive piece of equipment to make a few dollars on a wheel. So you can see here, we've got quite the loads ready. I tried to pull off most of the license plates. A few of them didn't cooperate. And once again, they're not worth enough money to make them worth a ton of effort. The guy that was buying our aluminum wheels, I haven't been able to get a hold of him. So I've got over a load ready to go for him, but I have no clue where he's at. I've been trying to get a hold of him. My dad's been trying to get a hold of him. It's like he just, he was supposed to come pick up a load from my dad here about a week and a half ago and he never showed up and now we can't get a hold of him. So I hope something didn't happen, but I guess we'll, we may never know. I've got most of that done in there, but there's still quite a few cars, mainly older cars. And I was thinking like that Dodge truck I said I was gonna crush, I was looking at the nose of that and that'll come off of there really easy. And it's kind of a cool nose. They're getting old enough now, you don't see them that often. So I think I'm gonna bring the equipment out here, my tools and my EcoFlow and all that uh, next week if the weather holds out. And I'm gonna go ahead and 
cut that nose off and process a few other cars kind of like that i also need to bring my torch out here because i gotta cut a, a couple nine inch rear ends out of trucks so i think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and stop this video right here and we'll make that another video i never know what i'm gonna release in what order exactly but either the next video or the next video after that we'll be finishing that out and getting that whole area cleared out so with that i'm gonna let you all go i hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of the day where you are Hopefully it's not too cold where you're at. We're supposed to get pretty cold here. Hopefully you can stay warm, but if not, do stay warm, be safe. We'll see you on the next one.